Have you ever stopped at a railroad crossing and wondered how trains, massive as they are, avoid collisions or ensure they're on the right track? Behind the smooth operation of rail networks lies an intricate and highly coordinated system, train signals. These systems work tirelessly to keep trains running efficiently and more importantly, safely. Let's dive into how they work and why they're essential to modern railways. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. At its core, a train signal system is a network of visual and electronic indicators designed to control the movement of trains. Think of it like traffic lights for cars, but far more complex. Train signals guide engineers by conveying critical information about track conditions, speed limits, and whether the route ahead is clear. But unlike cars, trains can't stop on a dime. A fully loaded freight train traveling at 80 kilometers per hour can take over a kilometer to come to a full stop. This is why signaling systems must predict potential conflicts well in advance. They're not just about avoiding collisions, they also manage traffic flow, ensuring trains run on schedule while minimizing delays. Train signals have come a long way since the early days of railroads. In the 19th century, Railways relied on manual systems like flag-waving and hand-operated semaphores to communicate with train crews. While innovative for the time, these methods were prone to human error and had limited range. The invention of the telegraph revolutionized signaling by enabling faster communication between stations. This gave rise to block systems, where tracks were divided into sections or blocks, and only one train was allowed in each block at a time. Fast forward to today, and we have highly advanced computer-controlled signaling systems that use everything from GPS to artificial intelligence to manage rail traffic. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, let's break down the key types of signals used today. Train signals generally fall into two categories, fixed signals and cab signals. Fixed signals. These are the traditional signals you see along the tracks, often mounted on posts or gantries. They use colored lights, shapes, or even mechanical arms to convey information. For example, red means stop. Yellow means proceed with caution, often indicating that the next block is occupied. Green means the track ahead is clear. Some systems also use flashing lights or additional markers to indicate specific speed restrictions or diverging routes. Cab signals. Unlike fixed signals, cab signals display information directly inside the train's cockpit. They're part of an automatic train control ATC system that continuously monitors the train's position and speed. This minimizes the reliance on external signals, especially in areas with poor visibility, like tunnels or during heavy rain. The block system is one of the oldest yet still fundamental methods of train control. As mentioned earlier, the tracks are divided into sections or blocks, and each block can hold only one train at a time. Here's how it works. Each block is equipped with track circuits that detect whether a train is present. If a block is occupied, the signal at its entrance turns red, instructing the following train to stop. As the train leaves the block, the signal resets to green, allowing the next train to proceed. This system ensures safe spacing between trains and helps prevent collisions. In modern railways, block systems are often automated and monitored from centralized control centers, allowing operators to manage traffic across vast networks. While traditional block systems are effective, they have limitations, especially on busy rail lines. Enter the moving block system, a game-changer for high-speed and urban rail networks. Unlike fixed blocks, moving block systems don't rely on predefined sections of track. Instead, they calculate a safe zone around each train in real time using GPS, sensors, and onboard computers. 
This allows trains to run closer together without compromising safety, significantly increasing the capacity of the rail network. It's like upgrading from a manual transmission car to an autonomous vehicle, more efficient and much smarter. Another cutting-edge technology is Communication-Based Train Control, or CBTC. This system uses wireless communication between trains and control centers to optimize train movement. It's particularly common in metro systems and high-speed rail. CBTC allows for precise control over acceleration, braking and stopping, enabling trains to run at higher frequencies. For passengers, this means shorter wait times and smoother rides. For operators, it means lower costs and higher efficiency. No discussion about train signaling would be complete without mentioning fail-safe mechanisms. Railways are built on the principle that it's better to stop a train unnecessarily than to risk an accident. For instance, Automatic braking systems kick in if a train ignores a red signal. In more advanced setups, trains are equipped with Positive Train Control PTC, which uses GPS and onboard systems to enforce speed limits and prevent dangerous movements. These systems are especially crucial in preventing human error, which remains one of the leading causes of railway accidents. While technology does much of the heavy lifting, human operators still play a critical role in train signaling. From monitoring control panels to responding to emergencies, they ensure the system runs smoothly. Engineers, dispatchers, and maintenance crews work tirelessly behind the scenes, often in high-pressure environments. Their expertise is what keeps the wheels turning, literally. The future of train signaling is bright and, unsurprisingly, digital. Innovations like artificial intelligence and machine learning are set to revolutionize how rail networks operate. Imagine a system where algorithms predict maintenance needs, optimize routes in real time, and even anticipate delays before they happen. Autonomous trains are also on the horizon, relying entirely on advanced signaling systems to navigate the tracks. While these developments may sound futuristic, they're closer to reality than you think. Train signals may not be the flashiest part of the railway system, but they're undoubtedly among the most important. They ensure safety, boost efficiency, and enable the seamless movement of people and goods across vast distances. So the next time you see a train whizzing by, Take a moment to appreciate the unseen network of signals and systems making it all possible. It's a symphony of technology and teamwork, a true marvel of modern engineering. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.